All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation k times k times k plus k is equal to 30. So obviously I wanna find the value of k in this equation. So to start off, k times k times k is the same thing as k to the power of three. So I have k to the power of three plus k is equal to 30. And now I'm gonna subtract 30 on both sides. So I get k to the power of three plus k minus 30 is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna rewrite this as k to the power of three plus k minus 27 minus three is equal to zero. And 27 is the same thing as three to the power of three. So I get k to the power of three plus k minus three to the power of three minus three is equal to zero. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of three minus b to the power of three, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So this is equal to k minus three times k squared plus 3k plus 3 squared, which is 9. And we can't forget our plus k minus 3 at the end, which is this part right here. And this is equal to 0. So now, because both of these terms have k minus 3 in them, I can factor out k minus 3. So I get k minus 3 times k squared plus 3k plus 9 plus 1, because k minus 3 divided by k minus 3 is 1 is equal to zero. So this turns into k minus three times k squared plus three k plus 10 is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna divide this into two different equations. I have k minus three equals zero and k squared plus three k plus 10 is equal to zero. So for k minus three equals zero, I can add three on both sides. So I get k is equal to three. So this is one solution of k. And for k squared plus 3k plus 10 equals 0, because it's a quadratic equation, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 10. So I get k equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 9, minus 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is 10 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. So now this is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 40 over 2, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 31 over 2. And I can rewrite this as negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 31i over 2, because i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So this is two more solutions of K. So these are my three solutions. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem nine over four to the power of nine over four. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite this as three squared over two squared to the power of nine over four. And if I have something to form A to the power of M over B to the power of M, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So three squared over two squared is gonna equal three over two squared, and I still have this to the power of nine over four. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n, so it's gonna equal three over two to the power of two times nine over four, which is equal to three over two to the power of 18 over four, which is equal to nine over two. So I have three over two to the power of nine over two. Now nine over two is the same thing as four plus five over two. And this is equal to four over two plus five over two. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. 
So this is going to equal 3 over 2 to the power of 4 over 2 times 3 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2. Now 4 over 2 is equal to 2. So I get 3 over 2 to the power of 2 times 3 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2. And 3 over 2 squared is equal to 9 over 4. So I get 9 over 4 times 3 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2, which is the same thing as the square root of 3 over 2 to the power of 5. And now this is equal to... 9 over 4 times the square root of 3 to the power of 5 over the square root of 2 to the power of 5. Now the square root of 3 to the power of 5 is equal to 9 root 3. And you can get this by simply multiplying the square root of 3 5 times. Now, and the square root of 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 4 root 2. So I have 9 over 4 times 9 root 3 over 4 root 2, which is equal to 81 root 3 over 16 root 2. And we don't want any radicals in our denominator, so I'm going to multiply this by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. So I get 81 root 6 over 16 times 2, which is 32. So this is my answer.